Folks, with the trading of former starting right guard Shaq Mason earlier today, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made another move in an effort to replace the departure of Shaq Mason. Per Jeremy Fowler of ESPN, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are re-signing offensive guard Aaron Stinney to a one-year deal worth up to 2.5 million dollars. Aaron Stinney did not play the previous season due to a torn ACL, but before that, he was a fringe starting type of offensive lineman that did have a handful of opportunities to start for the Buccaneers in the past and looked good when he was given those opportunities. So, Stinney will be competing with the likes of Nick Leverett, John Mulshan, and Robert Hainsey for those two starting guard positions. This is a good re-signing, I feel, especially after the departure of Shaq Mason, and we will have to wait and see how Stinney looks coming back from that torn ACL. It is not an easy injury to come back from, regardless of what position you play. Now, Ryan Jensen did make a similar recovery to a type of injury like Aaron Stinney had, and it will be interesting to see if Stinney can make a similar return to form. I'm confident that he will be able to come back and be good and ready to go and provide good competition and possibly even starting quality play as well for the Buccaneers at either left guard or at right guard. So welcome Aaron Stinney back into the fold. We will see what else the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do at those guard positions. Right now they are bringing back a lot of guys that are already familiar with this Buccaneers. I guess I should say coaching staff. I know a new offensive coordinator is in there, but these are guys who have started for the Buccaneers in the past. These are guys that Todd Bowles and Jason Light are familiar with, and they just brought back one more of those guys in Stinney. So we'll see how Stinney gets along. We will see how Leverett does. We will see how Robert Hainsey does moving back from center to guard. Seems like there's going to be a pretty healthy competition for both of those starting guard positions. Now with Stinney being back into that mix as well. What do you guys think about this re-signing? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them down in the comment section below. Are you worried about Stinney returning from this ACL tear injury that he had sustained last season? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Stinney is also, I believe, 28 or 29 years old, something along those lines. So a little bit younger than Shaq Mason. So he is still a veteran, should be able to provide some good leadership for that interior O-line as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.